We're going to come off the trail and discuss stuff that will help you become a better rider. Usually when we start riding horses, either we just go to a friend's house and they kind of show us how they ride and we duplicate it, or we go take lessons from somewhere. The unfortunate part is we end up with the same thing every time. People want us to defy the world when we ride a horse. All right, our, our world is built upon laws, okay? One of them is the law of physics, laws of motion, okay? Let's pretend that we're not riding a horse. Let's pretend like we're out in the ocean or probably a lake usually, and we're fixing a water ski for the first time, okay? Someone's going to teach you correctly how to water ski because water cannot hold up anything that's not in balance. It can't do it. So now if I'm water skiing and we pretend like this is the boat and this is the skier, when we're bobbing up and down in the water, waiting to go because we're putting our gear on, we haven't told the boat to go anywhere, we're just bobbing, it's the same as walking on a horse. Why is it the same? Because when you're walking on a horse or bobbing in the water, there's no severe amount of momentum being created that gets you out of balance. Okay? There's nothing that's so extreme that your brain doesn't stay calm and says, I can do this. That's what happens. Simple as it gets. Now, when you cue up the boat and say go, and the boat starts to rev up its engine and go this away, and the rope is tied to your hands, you must do something in order to ski. And what would that be? You have to lean back. So what is that? That's doing the equal and opposite reaction to stay the same, which is in balance. That's all you're doing. If you ski upright, where do you go? In the water. When I tried to water ski, the only time I tried, see, I, I'm a bad swimmer. And water, I could drown in the shower. I cradled up every time the boat took off. And I went, I, I, I was looking at whales and sharks in the fresh water. I was down there dying. So if the boat goes this way, everybody knows you have to lean back. Why? Because water won't hold you up. Now, if you were snow skiing, you might could stand up, right? But you'd still probably fall over forward because of all that momentum. So you, everybody does this. I've never seen, except for me. I'm the only skier in the world that leaned forward, hmm, I think. So everybody does it correctly. Now, if we change the horse, we have to deal with the same law of motion. Why does it suddenly disappear? Why does the law of motion just disappear when we ride a horse? It doesn't. So this is what happens. We have to change over from our arms to where now we have a horse here and we're up here. We're going to go the same direction, though, that way. Once the horse starts to to go into a trotter canter, they move up and forward. So here's their symbol. Why do everybody, why does every, why do, that's not good grammar, why does everyone want you to remain upright? Remember the skier? You can't do it, but yet the, everybody wants you to do that on a horse is to remain upright. Where's our natural position from our instincts? Here. This is our natural instinct is that we'll get like a jockey. We're like way up here. Okay? So if we remain upright, where's the momentum of this horse when it goes up and forward? What's it going to do to our body? It's going to automatically push it forward. It has to. By the law of physics and laws of motion, there's no other choice. So when we first start riding a horse, we have to deal with all that trying to stay in balance from an imbalanced position. So the question is, what's easier, to keep something in balance that's already in balance or to get something back in balance that's out of balance? Which one's easier? The first. the first, to keep something in balance that's already in balance. So that's what we have to remember, is when this horse moves forward, we must do the same as the skier. See, that's the same equal and opposite. It's just coming at you from different directions. As the boat pulls you, you have to lean back. As the horse pushes you, you have to lean back in order to stay in balance easier and quicker. You can learn to balance here. People do it all the time, but it takes forever.